Okay, so I got this blank now. It's not a blank anymore, but uh, here's the mate to it. So this uh, piece here, thickness-wise, is a uh, half an inch. And uh, I guess I want this one to be about a half inch, too. And I want a 5 16 groove down the middle. So... I'm going to part the saw. We're actually going to cut the groove first and then I'm going to part it off to the final length. And then I'm going to stick it back in the mill, make one of these on the other side, and then the, the shifter part will be done. Okay, so we're just cutting the shifter groove here using a part off blade. Cutting uh, a 5 16 groove wide and a quarter of an inch deep. So now um, I got an index over here. I'll zero my little indicator that's on the way. And I uh, want this groove to be 5 sixteenths in width. I got some fuzz on this thing. I had a left handed caliper. Sometimes it's just better. Alright, so we are at uh, 240, 242. I want to go to. Okay, so we're going to move over 70 thou. Okay, last shot here.
Okay, so we're down to depth here. Let me just uh, gonna slide it sideways here. First, you gotta be able to see what you're doing. What I'm doing is I'm just taking a, a very light cut across the bottom here with the parting blade just to make sure that it's, it's flat across the bottom. Okay. There's our groove. Now what I'm going to do is uh, just chamfer the edges off. It's not too warm. part this thing off the length. Let's see if I got enough stick. I don't think I have enough sticking out of the chuck right now. I might just turn it around. Yeah, I think that's it. That's the solution. Alright. Be back at you. Okay, we're set up to part this off. Here's our piece. It's got a good face on it too. Yeah, well, we'll just get rid of this little little thing on here.
side too. Okay, time for more milling. Got it done. And look, even the castellations line up. Not that it really matters. So yeah, we got one more piece to make now for the drive section, which will be the one that goes on the motor. And that one's going to be a little weird because it's going to have a pilot that fits into that recess on the shaft over there. Okay. So we're making the motor half of this thing now, and what I've got is this, and that fits up in here like this, okay, and what that does is that allows this to slide back from the other one. So. On this face, we're going to cut one of these. And then on the other side, we're just going to have a little collar. You know, we'll turn it down, and the motor shaft's a half inch. I'll turn it down to an inch, and then, uh, you know, put a set screw in it for the shaft. All right. Okay, we got our blank turned out. This side goes to the motor. And this side is where we're going to cut our little uh, clutch face. This goes in like that. Okay, so we'll set it up in there and start cutting. Well, it's hot off the press. That's pretty good. All right, a little filing and we're done. Right, here we go. So now the time has come to build a box around this thing. And what I've decided to do is make some essentially L-shaped brackets that hook to this. And I've extended the two cap screws out with spacers. And what I'm going to do is put a plate here. Let me show you.
So, what's going to happen here is there's going to be a plate that basically is the back of the box and it will fasten one screw there, one screw there and probably four screws or two screws down at, you know through the, through the top aluminum plate into the end of it and then there's going to be two L-shaped brackets which essentially create a box around the motor and the drive and what else can I tell you about it those are the sizes so um, I got my last piece of tooling plate or my last pieces of tooling plate and this is what we're going to cut those pieces out of so probably not going to show too much of that because cutting stuff with a bandsaw is pretty boring so uh, when we get it all ready we'll be showing it now I did hook this thing onto the motor so that's how it'll fit inside and then the shifter and I got the stupid worm wheel thing here but you get the idea 